The state of Montana measures air quality across the state and reports it to the public on todaysair.mt.gov. Today, we will quickly review how to use the Today's Air website, including where the monitoring stations are and what they measure, what health effect categories are and what the color coding means, and how to interpret the current air quality and compare the average measured concentration number to a health effect category. Each of the dots on the main Today's Air page represents a station where inhalable fine particulate matter is measured. Fine particulate matter is the primary air pollutant of concern in Montana. Inhalable fine particulate matter consists of suspended airborne particles that are less than or equal to 2.5 microns in diameter and is commonly referred to as PM2.5. More information can be found by clicking on each dot on the map or on the city name on a mobile device. This will take you to a site-specific location page, which we will talk about in a moment. Many monitoring sites are set up like this one here in Broadus. The tall structure is a meteorological tower for measuring wind and temperature at the site. The small building is the monitoring shelter. Inside is the equipment that measures concentrations of air pollutants. The spire on top of the shelter takes in air, filters out particles greater than 2.5 microns in diameter, and sends the air inside to the monitoring equipment. This equipment runs 24 hours a day, with the hourly average measurements being displayed on the Today's Air website. In your town, you may see one of these shelters in a local park or at a school. During wildfire season, air quality can vary significantly across the state. In this example, air quality ranges from moderate to hazardous depending on the locations. During this time of year, you may see additional dots on the map if temporary monitors are deployed to track wildfire impacts. Health effect categories range from good to hazardous as PM2.5 concentrations increase. The health effects become more severe at higher concentrations. For instance, at unhealthy levels, people with respiratory or heart disease the elderly, and children should avoid prolonged exertion. Everyone else should limit prolonged exertion. PM2.5 causes more severe health impacts the longer you are exposed. 24-hour averages are what the EPA uses to determine national ambient air quality standards. The EPA has also developed a NOWCAST concentration to better reflect both long and short-term exposure concerns. The NOWCAST concentration is compared to the 24-hour health effect category thresholds, with the associated color being displayed on the Today's Air map. For more information about the NOWCAST concentration, click About Today's Air under Featured Links. As mentioned, each dot on the map represents a monitoring station. Click any of the dots or select the station name on the list to see additional information regarding that particular monitoring station. The top graph is the NOWCAST concentration compared to the health effect categories. If you scroll down the page, you will find the midnight to current hour average as compared to the national ambient air quality standards. Previous days with 24 hours of complete data show this value color coded to the corresponding health effect category. At the bottom of the page, you will find a table with the hourly PM 2.5 alongside the NOWCAST concentrations. These NOWCAST concentrations are also color-coded to match the corresponding health effect category. Additionally, this page provides access to historic monitoring data and health effects for previous days by clicking on the calendar. To recap, the map can give you an overall picture of air quality in the state. The dot on the map represents NOWCAST concentrations compared to the 24-hour health effect category which have recommendations depending on your medical situation. Representations of health risk are provided as general advisories. You should speak to your medical professional about any specific concerns. Be sure to click on your city to see how air quality has been changing over time. During wildfire season, further discussions are available by clicking Wildfire Smoke Outlook on the main page.